Welcome everybody to our Wednesday night indie showcase stream where I'll be playing a variety of games submitted by developers and we are always looking for more games. We got quite a lineup this week. I have a few from previous weeks that I have not had a chance to get to that I will try and take care of tonight. And we are going to be starting with unpacking this was the kind of very chill uh moving day kind of game that it was officially released today we're only going to spend a few minutes on it specifically because of the fact that it is very story driven and it is a game that i don't think there's going to be a whole lot of it in terms of gameplay to explore now we somehow get through that. I have some of these larger games I can show off. I did get the press key for The Legend of Tian Ding. And that one I will definitely be, I think, wanting to do a full play of it. It's kind of like Hollow Knight Metroidvania, but with a more involved combat system. Or maybe it's more like Waka Melee in terms of its combat. And we somehow get through all those games. I have a few other ones as well. I figure I'm going to pair Unpacking with Shindig as kind of like a, its own little mini video. So I think neither game is big enough to really spend, you know, dedicate a lot of time to. Let me close all this out. And we'll get going. Which On the recorder. There we go. So this is not going to be the most nightmare-inducing game. Unless the horror of trying to uh, make your room is there. Now there is specific, the email that I got about like the embargo or just like coverage is that something big happens on day four of the game. So we will probably cut this at the end of day three if we're still playing it beyond like, you know, 20 minutes or so. So again, this is all about finding space for all of our junk that we have, right? Go. Oh. Hmm. Can't fit that there. <laughs> Put you away. So nice and chill, isn't it? Get all that space. Stack everything. You go there. The dreidel is very important. Hm. Well, it makes sense to put this next to your desk, right? Anyone want to play Procedure? <laughs> we can't stack these books. Oh. Stack this here? Oh, yes. All about finding as much room as we can. Oh. I'm sure there's some very dark story that goes with this as well. How am I gonna fit this thing? Oh. 
Maybe there's like a super dark twist at some point in this game. <laughs> Put away our Game Boy. <laughs> and we'll know if I did it right. Oh. What did I do? Oh, I can take a picture. <laughs> when there's no, like, if it doesn't, like, say anything when I go to put everything away. <laughs> so again, like, I would not put this in the uh, category of a Dark Souls likes, <laughs> by any means. It just seems like a, just a very, you know, chill game to play. Boys, right here. God, those troll dolls, right? Mm -mm. Oh, good, I can fit them right there. Oh, and of course, a Tamagotchi. Uh oh. oh we'll put them on the bed. Horror. We ran out of room. Hey, one. Uh oh. Must find more space somewhere. Uh oh. So it doesn't like the book. Can't stack? Oh, doesn't like it there either. Bum bum bum. Oh. Where am I gonna fit that dinosaur? Oh wait, they go on the desk too? Doing it. Hmm. Maybe that's the whole ploy of this game. Convince kids it's a game to put away your all your toys. Can I put you up here? There we go. We did it. Oh. Are there rewards or getting wow, yeah. Are these all just part of the same thing? Uh -oh. Now we gotta move into some place bigger. Now we're out on our own. <laughs> oh, I put some under my pillow. All of our art supplies. Oh, I can't open and close the shade? Aww. Uh, it's way too mature for kids. <laughs> I 
Uh, nope, of course I had a, uh, a tape of some kind. <laughs> oh, there's our mouse. Oh. Guessing that's a mouse pad. Oh, we still need a keyboard though. To the bathroom. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Books. Even more books. <laughs> Maybe this person plays Neon Continuum. Uh -oh. Now the fun part, having to put away all of our clothing. You get out of the way. <laughs> chill within chill. Another box down. <laughs> yeah, how am I going to fit all this in here? Is this going to go? The phone parts, we still haven't found the keyboard. Back some pants. I mean, you gotta display your action figures, right? Oh, this damn soccer ball. Wait, can I put this up here? Nice. Hmm, running out of hangers. Mm -mm. <laughs> what does a spear on this game look like? Just doing your chores. I know, this convincing kids to speed run all their laundry. Oh. Huh? Oh, we gotta pull away our socks now. <laughs> there. Uh-oh. Which one of these is my book? <laughs> Close. Alright, that's another one out. We're missing a boot. <laughs> hey, got bras now. And we're running out of room. <laughs> oh. hmm. So many books, so little time. Am I stack anything else here? <laughs> Where the hell is this going? Oh. 
There we go. Hmm. How much money will have to be donated to speedrun Genshin Impact? <laughs> oh, anyone want some toast? Is that damn Rub Rubik's Cube again? Mm mm. Growing out of socks. There we go. Mm mm. Oh, the shoes can't go there. Way. There you go, we just need shoes. We just need a two shoes and a boot. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. We only need one towel. <laughs> Wait, can I open this up? No. No uh, cabinet there. Gotta make sure the toilet works, right? Oh, more bras. Oh, it's always got backup toilet paper. Put that. Oh. Uh oh. Bum, bum, bum. The horror. Where am I going to put this extra towel? Oh. Go here. Hmm. I really am running out of room. Oh good, the frying pan's in the bathroom. Perfect. Yeah, you know they're going to throw fit this when I try to complete this, right? <laughs> Man, they got a lot of room for cups, don't they? I know this was still horror month. We go up there. Gotta stack them bowls. Only two left. That'll give people, like, horror of their own lives. Mm -mm. So, look at all this room. What the hell is this? Board. Oh. Get some pots. And of course, there's our computer. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Dun dun dun. Was it a trash bag? Yeah, guess so. <laughs> this game is bringing up all kinds of painful memories, right? Oh. 
There's your life hack. Stacking plates and bowls together. <laughs> Is that Nutcracker? Sponge away. And there's the case of the missing boot. Right, you go there. You go there. Wait. Did I scuff up our floor already? Man, I mean, we lived in this place for what, 10 minutes? Glasses. Feeling this is not right. Get all of our lovely little spices here. Yeah, that's a whole lot of salt. Uh oh. Put you away. fit that. Well, we have a problem. Oh, we have several problems. Hmm. Hmm. And stack the cups. That's one room out of the way. Mm -mm. Oh. We're literally one item off. Oh, well, there we go. Easy. Mm-mm. shoes go. I have a whole other drawer right there? Huh. <laughs> oh, apparently they don't like that stuff in the drawer. I mean this for there we go. And of course, one shoe up there, one shoe down there. Perfect. Another sticker? Uh-oh. When is something horrible going to happen in this game? The final episode will be, what, 2025 when the zombies hit? They're a uh, cosplayer, too. <laughs> Alright, so since they said there is a big reveal in the fourth area, we'll move on after this one to not, you know, spoil the game. Ooh. What the hell is this gonna fit? Nice, they got a PlayStation 2. That's what I'm thinking. Where's our bedroom? 
Oh, here we go. Oh my god, a lot of rooms now. You mean the emotional trauma starts at X. Hm. Oh, I got a GameCube too, nice. Or should I say the off-brand GameCube so we don't get sued by Nintendo? What games we have here? That's a big book. Where the hell is this going to go? Okay. And of course, more video games. If this was me, it would be about 10 more boxes of video games. There we go. So I have the boom box. Oh, we got a fancier kitchen now. Oh. The hell is that? That seems simple enough, but I'm sure we're gonna miss like ten different things here. So relaxing, isn't it? Hmm. Here are drawings. So we're gonna become an artist. Oh, oh nice, we got a uh HD monitor now. There we go. <laughs> Got a little pegboard of dreams. Go in there. Here's your idea for a roguelike. The persistence is unlocking new uh, clothing hooks and stuff for your closet. <laughs> when he saw it die. I'm gonna fit this. What do we learn after we finish this game? Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, another hanger. Frisbee is very important. Oh. Look at all this closet space we have. <laughs> the music died too. Oh. We all want to go clean our rooms now, right? 
Mhm. Mm oh. Man, they got every game console. Nice. Oh, here come the socks again. Hang up your shirts. Wait, are these a... Uh... For jeans. Yes, they are. Or for pants. There we go. Uh, we're missing hooks, though. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Just, like, carpeting? Can't be a poster. Oh, that was a mat, too. Hmm. More shirts. Oh, is this the uh, little trash can for the bathroom again? This game is probably hurting you right now, Juan. <laughs> oh, get our little weight. Oh, one pound weights. Uh oh. I put the computer right in there. I need to get one of these for my desk. So my computer's completely encased and away from all the dust. <laughs> again. <laughs> I hope there are a few people who, like, watch uh, the streams, like, for, like, the Dark Souls and uh, Hardcore Roguelites are tuning in right now. Shoes. Oh, that's done at least. Mm -mm. Oh, and of course. Ta da. And more socks. I'll fill this holding up with socks again, aren't I? <laughs> Just barely. Two down, two to go. Nice Gundams. Hmm. Here. <laughs> Gotta make sure everything is organized, right? This room seems too easy so far. There's this guy again.
Oh, we've got another little thing here. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. Close. What well, horrific twist will come in this game, I wonder. Oh, it's way too quiet. Nope. That's where you go. <laughs> we don't have the giant thing of salt anymore. Manics are very important. Oh. Alright. All got this place taken care of. Hope for the pan. Hmm. <laughs> Big old towel. Hmm. Is this going to the bathroom again? Movers. Someone's gotta clean these dishes. Alright, how many mistakes are in that room? Fill the sink up with everything. Oh. Where is this gonna go? Alright, how many mistakes? Wait, oh, that's a pack of sponges. <laughs> then this has to go in here. Hmm. I don't see... Oh, or it just goes up there. I thought we pull into like a hangar. Huh. I thought I had more things wrong in this room. <laughs> How am I gonna fit this? This damn book. Oh. What's wrong here? Oh, what is it? Hmm? Hmm. 
Oh, well, excuse me. This thing just will not fit anywhere. We gotta have our... here. There we go. Yay. We did it. And no one's been killed yet, right? <laughs> Alright. So again, not the most challenging game, but I think it's a really good chill game. I'm not sure how you get these other stickers. If they're just part of, like, the daily play, or... If there is, it was just a progression base. <laughs> All right. Let us go to something which I'm hoping will be a little bit more exciting. I think we may have looked at the demo of this one. This is a modern retro voxel shooter. Which I hope OBS picks up. <laughs> no, it is not. All right, one second. Boom. Now it should be picking it up. There we go. How we bump this up? Ooh. There's hard. Is there something harder than hard? So it's a voxel quake. Nice glittery noise for the masochism that's about to happen. Hmm. Is there only two difficulties? Yeah, I guess so. Bum bum bum. Yeah, I think the demo was just like the first three, four levels. Die. Murder those voxels. in the uh, bottom left. No ability to run. Uh, one second. There we go. So much death. That's it? Oh, there'd be a secret in there. Boom, boom, boom. 
We played a few voxel style games before. Maybe a few like using like this whole uh trying to be more like a first person shooter RPG. This one seems okay. So far at least. Let's like see what else it actually has in store. Uh oh. Oh, there's our machine gun. Or machine uh, one. Done. Doesn't seem so hard. For normal, for hard difficulty, I should say. Do we have a map? No. Dun dun dun. Hmm. Did I miss it back here? Maybe the door's back where we came. Uh oh. The trap. A lot of growling coming. Yeah, I hope something interesting happens. As it doesn't seem to be that difficult. No secrets. You mean the game or one? <laughs> oh no, I'm trapped. Oh, no. That was a switch. Oh! I'll just murder the voxels myself. Bum, bum, bum. No, Link's coming to get me. I uh, remember there was something interesting with the first boss. Nope. Oop. Got a little too close there. Trust this. No, oh, it doesn't hurt me. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Got red eye, that's for sure. Armor doesn't help me. You can't run. Now that open over here. Oh, this really a new trick. Out. So much violence. 
Oh. Now we have a shotgun. Uh oh. It's a wizard fight. Oh. Looking? our red door. Nope. Hmm. I feel like I want you to start seeing something different. Not just fireball breathing spiders. Oh, uh, timeline, yeah. Wasn't bad, but I just got a little tired of that puzzle solving. They would take me, I can snipe. Volatiles look nice. The hell was that? Uh oh. The trap. I think I downloaded that one or I put it on my on Steam, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Magic and healing. Oh. Name the teleporting spiders. At the end of the level, hey, hmm. yeah, I feel like there's just unless it's going to do something new. I'm not seeing the draw of another retro FPS. Even playing it on the harder side. Pride of War, I'll definitely have more going for it. Alright. Yeah. Maybe I'll play a little bit more on mine and see if it picks up. Let's 
let's see, how is it doing in terms of, it came out today with five reviews. Six beautiful weapons, only six weapons? And we already found half of them. Hmm. All right, uh, let's go for this one. This is like the uh, heavy gig one that I downloaded this week. Hopefully it will actually load. There we go. So this is Giants Uprising. Where the twist is we play as the giant killing monster. It is said that when humans came to this world, Sorry. the giants, the children of the gods. Nope. Did I change these settings? Oof. Sixty. All right. Hopefully, there we go. All right. What the hell am I doing here? So this is in early access right now. I'm interested in checking it out. There's also a, a solo Armored Core style, a solo developer Armored Core game that I'm interested in too. Hey, this piece of shit is waking up. About bloody time. Mm -hmm. Get him ready to move. And bring the other one here, too. Shut your fucking gob, or I swear on my mother, I'll fucking kill you. Ooh. Hmm. I turn V-Sync on? Hey, hey, calm down. Don't panic. Get yourself together. <laughs> Sorry I had to climb on you so unceremoniously, but we haven't got all day. We're in a dungeon. Under the arena in Northern Hope, to be more precise. The local suzerain throws some kind of annual circus on the anniversary of his victory over the rebellion. And lucky us, we get to participate. Fighting as a pair. As one team, you know? This game is making my, uh... Fans go so, crazily. If we're survive, we best stick together. For now, the plat training all. all right. of... Wait, I can't go to the, the menu from here? To top of our game. Time to warm up, big guy. Let's start at the first Oof. dummy and give him a good hit. And um, by the way, what do they call you? Mm. Nice to meet you. I can already see some problems here. Let's see, how does this play like this? That's a little bit better. Hmm. Oh, go, we're supposed to be very slow and clunky. Why aren't you blocking? Okay, big fella. Mm. Time to test your aim. They don't look that big. Mm. Oh god, I have a yeet. Stuff, rock bar. And now, crush those crates. Go on, lad. 
<laughs> Oak smash. Wait, do we have a trample? Well, it's like trampling, but it also tells me a stomp. Super slam. Nom nom nom. There's our Estus. Splendid. Judging by the shouts outside, it sounds like we're up next. Let's go to the arena. We have a date with the goddess of fate. Can I run? Right, there we go. Friend. This will be a debut for both you and me. Let's give it our best shot. What does that little guy do, do anyway? This alive, okay? People of Northern Hope. At the end of our game! Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm talking. I know you don't want to do this, mate, but there's no other way. Oh, it's oh, oh. It's like you won't show us any mercy. Come on, I'm ready. Now it's punch out. An optimized punch out. I'm liking how clunky it is. Punch me. Hmm. So I'm not really getting the sense that we're a giant. It just seems like we're a very unoptimized, slow moving guy. Is that what's cooking? This is a very annoying intro to this game. What? That's it? Did I turn on V-Sing? I thought I did. Does this game not have V-Sync? Hmm. Let's say blue.
Oh, Saint Obelis. Oh, what the hell? Those aren't obelisks, they're bonfires. This is an unnecessary uh, skill tree uh, menu right here. Oh, I just hit the button to turn off all the things. Alright. Uh, I think I'm ready to move on here. Hmm. Oh, it's always a good sign when a developer put out a uh, message saying that we've heard all your <laughs> problems and we want to try to get a patch up by the end of the week. Other than like a, a week one, we need to fix all the problems reported by the players patch. Hmm. I am surprised it has this many positive reviews. Let's see what the people on the forum say. Hmm. Great doors. Yeah, definitely optimization needs to be done. Hmm. I was expecting a lot more out of that one. Mm-mm-mm. You know, well, first, Im first impressions don't matter with games, right? <laughs> Alright. Well, I can cross... These three off my list. It's the uh, 20th look that matters, right? Alright. Now I need to play something that I know is good to kind of get me happy again. Oh look, someone who's going to publish Neon Continuum. <laughs> Alright, so this is the kind of Time When These Hollow Knight. Looks like it's a little loud in my ears. There we go. Oh, it did save all our progress from the demo. But my problem is that I don't remember the controls at all. Without stress. Another game with a comic book style framing. Man, that guy got shot even getting bullet holes.
Oh, I see a treasure box up there. Bye-bye, huh? Go to Sure, we'll be there in about one minute. <laughs> Gotta save the youth. No, it's maybe you get punched so hard you fade out of existence. <laughs> mm -mm. That was Shark trying to get people to buy a pack for a Neon Continuum. Those people are doing the background, just like standing there motionless. Now we gotta learn how to fight. Dodge roll. I mean, of course, air dodge. <laughs> Don't know how long this one is. But we should get through the opening in 20 minutes like I did last time. And of course, we'll have to beat him up, too. Hm. Oh, and we already have double jump. Impressive. <laughs> Everyone can double jump in real life, right? Oh yeah, we get to steal weapons from people. Yoink. That's one effective uh, scarf. That just murder everyone. Dude, there's a commissary everywhere we go. Alright. So we survived the tutorial. Ooh. Got anything for me? You want some pastries? Is it the same uh, beggar we just saw? <laughs> I 
And just like with Guacamelee, a lot of our special moves are going to be tied to movement tech. A loot box. Oh? Ew. I like the comic book art in this. I wonder if it was done exclusively for the game or not. Dun, dun, dun. Just in case none of you were paying attention what we were just doing for the last five minutes. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> no, let's walk through the front door. It's the perfect stealth tactic. I think it's faster to keep rolling. What about the art in this one so far? What? <laughs> huh. <laughs> Alright, let's get some tech going. As I look at how this game again shows that you can learn anything just by reading a manual one time. Okay, get your three movement techs. Hell you. Oop. There we go. Remember, every sewer is also a dungeon full of traps. And let the Metroidvanian begin. Thank you for the lesson. Yeah, yeah. Just play volleyball with them.
beat up the police and take their money. I throw them on the spikes. And there's loot. Get over here. Ah, uh, yes. Boom. Boink. This is how martial arts works in real life, right? Oh. Now let's see. I do like how the collectibles not only have history to them, but they also give us lots and lots of perks. through that. Ooh. Into the slime you go. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I can make this. I think we're going to need an additional bit of tech. Hmm? There we go. Now I can do this. You can again see kind of movement tech meets combat that was in Guacamelee. Although not color coordinated this time. He's fine. Just drop him to acid sewer water. Where's the camera's not picking up there? Come on. for me. Yeah, so again, I think this feels just like a really solid action. Just gotta get back use of these controls again. Big thing is you always want to have a weapon in your hand and disarm the enemy at the same time. You should be coming to a checkpoint. Hmm. I thought we had an in-game map. One thing that's throwing me off a little bit 
I keep hitting dodge when I have to hit the dedicated uh, grapple button. Okay, so this guy, I definitely need to take his axe. So he can't do anything about this. Power. This part seems, I think, almost exact, or is exact, from the demo. Oh. Thank you, buddy. I didn't know sewers had deadly bamboo traps. Hm. I'll take that. We're just like murdering everybody in this place, aren't we? Uh-oh. Are all sewers just death trap dungeons? like murdering random people in the sewer. Yeah. You know there's treasure right here. So there's just ninja turtles in the sewer? Oh. Uh oh. I'm playing Miss Amy back there. Oh, I'll take that. And for vagrants in the sewers, they're giving us a lot of money. Chewing gum. Remember, kids, if you chew chewing gum, bamboo spiked pits won't hurt you as much. Oh, well, we're not doing that yet. Miss the uh, swing. Ooh. Thank you for the weapon, buddy. Ooh. Really? 
get Molotov cocktails from? Alright, so this is the scary guy. So red means you can't dodge. Oh god. They're up in the air, they can't hurt you, right? Oh. He's taunting me. There we go. Let's get our new tech. Give these police officers some armor, don't they? Oh. Hey. Easy. <laughs> we got a whopping one percent bonus. There's 99 more of those and we'll be set. Man, these spikes are very convenient, aren't they? I remembered it that time. Get out of there. I'll take those. No, I can throw rocks at people. Truly the most powerful weapon yet. We should be coming up on the final manual. Yeah, it's the uh, ground stomp power. Oh. Close. Oh, let's see where we're here. So from what I've played of the demo and what I've played of this one so far, I think this is a really solid action game. I just wonder, like, the lack of, like, branding over here is going to hurt it, though. I'll take that. Man. That guy took a Molotov to the head and he didn't even flinch. There's our four techs. Thing over here. Yeah, this is new. Oh. 
course, we go to the more dangerous route first. <laughs> oh no, they yelled at me really loud. It hurt. That healing bun. That guy just taunted me. Okay, we're not getting up there. Help it. And it should just about be boss time. Ooh. Is this the right way or treasure? Oh, it's treasure. I don't like how he's hitting me from behind, if he knows that when he swings the axe. I'll take that. Hopefully this is the last guy. Uh-oh. Definitely scares me in terms of damage. Ooh. Ooh. He's just gonna keep going, isn't he? Please die. Ooh. I do not remember that fight from the demo. Nice reward. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. Nearly lose too much from that. All right, now I think it's boss. He wants to continue himself. Strauss will get a giant golden statue of himself, right? Yeah. 
Thanks for the gun, buddy. And I'm sure his house will have a sniper rifle uh, statues too. this one. I got the lucky, uh, <laughs> fun RNG right there. <laughs> Got me. Oh. I think he was like one hit off, too. Is that statue that does like the most damage? He must just automatically drop the uh, bun when his health hits a certain. gets half down. And this is where the demo ended when we played it. <laughs> that building came down really fast, didn't it?
Those cops could like just like walk two feet and be out of that smoke. Oh sure. Sure, here you go. Nice. <laughs> Alright, but I think we'll move to our next game. But I do want to play more of this one on stream. I sure it's gonna get a lot harder. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh. Bubble and day. There we go. Oh, let me guess, I'm gonna have to fight this guy at some point. Mm -mm. You know, it's serious when the music starts playing again. After this cutscene, we will move on to our next game. <laughs> That's the same woman in the workshop we saw a few minutes ago.
Dun dun dun. So you think the comic book, like the actual like hand drawn style, works for this game? All right. So, <laughs> so can't skip these cutscenes. I guess that's our McGuffin. Yeah. Again, I'm not sure if, like, this is actually based on, like, a comic book from Taiwan, or if all the art is original to the game or not. Oh, there you go. Where am I going? Oh, it's one of these maps. <laughs> I guess we have to go left first. So do these guys also give us like free stuff by giving them money? Yep. Ooh, and want some banana wine? Wait, unemployed. I thought you said under. <laughs> Wait, did I just do an increased dodge? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, good, there's only 145 McGuffins to find. Wait, there's a towel button? Hmm. All right, let's go with this one because I've been keeping it installed for a while. I haven't had a chance to really look at it. Let's see if it will actually load. Alright, so this is Rogue Spirit. We played the demo of this one. I got a press key for it. We're going to see where the game is at since we last checked it out. It was kind of like the stealth, but also combat heavy game. And apparently it did not save our progress. We have Ghost Yell. Oops. Every character has a primary and secondary attack. Where are you going? Times are gonna make me do it. Ooh. 
All right, let's get into this. Die. I get his soul. I'll take that. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stab you a little bit. <laughs> I think it's time for me to move my window back down. And see all my lovely vitals in the upper left. Not bad. Is it time to go? Performance seems to have been improved since we played this. And this was not the area that was in the demo. Was it the mama? <laughs> uh, let's go secondary. Still not sure what the actual stats are representing. Is this one's a tiny bit better? Eee. Not demons. Wrong button. You're not better than me. Uh, keep this by then. Oh. Let's keep dancing around. Yeah, I'll take it. Dancing. I'm guessing that's better than the other ones. Wrong series. Is that a treasure box? Oh no. I did not want to take that body. <laughs> treasure within a treasure box. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do that? Mm-mm. They seem to have toned down the stealth or the enemy detection. Oh, I think we're in deep trouble. One thing I can't seem to attack now. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, we're dead. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. The combat still feels jankier than I think it should be. Hmm. Oh man. It's a lot of persistence. Until we store gold, we can't afford any of that. Those skills. We still gotta hunt down the familiar. Hmm. Tree keeper. So this is procedural. Oh, oh thought that was an enemy. Who saw me? <laughs> hmm. Is there's no uh, bonus for doing sneak attacks? Get the loot. Oh, that's why I gotta pull the uh, knives out of them. And now we're on fire. Hmm. And I think the game isn't bad, but it's very hard to compare, or it's very hard to like. Play some of these games after we played Hades, Dead Cells, and some of the more higher tuned action roguelikes. Let me just be up a lady right there. No, I'm not. I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to fight. Yeah, some of these controls do not feel as responsive as they should be for this kind of game. And that is definitely a downside here. Also, I don't think we save our green resources. Which, that is a red flag for a game like this. Hmm. Let's see. I still got a spend for it? Oh no, I just take them. There we go. I'm sure we'll do like 10,000 points of damage. Hmm. Did that little dragon actually do anything? Mm. 
Pull the mice back. And again, uh, stamina is very important, as we can see. Cover my health. It's just swapping bodies. And does this little guy do anything? Is another question. <laughs> oh. Oh, just keep swapping souls. Of course, the exit is where all the bad guys are. Oh. Mm. Everything is so damn pricey. I bet the balls will just like one shot me. Mm -mm. Oh. Did he actually? Did our little dragon friend actually do something there? Or double loot? get through. There we go. Oh. Don't mind me. Go in, knock him out, and then go back and ghost. Oh. Easy, right? And I think this game just does not do enough yet to really make me want to play it beyond just our little trial here. What do you guys think? Bash him right there. The problem is that you tell me that I can be sneaky, except we have like six guys with all crossing vision cones. Doesn't really work that way. And definitely parrying is powerful here. Or it's more powerful than dodging. Heels. Mm -hmm. That did nothing. Oh, 
big is this map? Uh oh. Oh, I see. The essence is what gives us more of our health back. Gotta wait for that mirror to be fuller. Well, we made it through one level. Take his souls. See, if you've noticed, you can't stun lock enemies. So you really do have to rely on your parry. And I just stab him in the back of the head ten times. I think do or dying, like the next few minutes we're just gonna move on. Cause I'm just not seeing enough here. That would make it different from like a dead cells or anything else. And again, once you get that timing for the parry down, most of these guys will just melt to you. Increased being ghost form is nice. Alright, I'll just. What the hell happened with that vision cone? <laughs> Alright, I'll take her body. We got boomerang shurikens. Again, like it just feels way too janky with this movement. Alright, well, let's at least buy something and then we'll move on. Should be from you. Hold save, current essence saved, available, unlocks a chance. Aim that gives me more. That would be handy, except we don't have enough souls. Unlock and then upgrade chance. 2%, wow. Well, hmm. Let's go with that. Might as well go with that just to spend the money. Now the other question, how do I get out of here? Oh. Hmm. So what does their early access look like? Uh, let's see. Add more lore. More characters, more levels. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just going to need a lot more than that to stand out. Alright. So, 
as a very strange coincidence, I got a press key earlier today for another game about possessing enemies and using their bodies. Will this one be any better? Let's find out. Will it load? Let's find that out as well. <laughs> hmm, I can already tell we need to adjust these settings. Hmm. Oof. Well, it's time for some fun here, as I have to navigate... ...with everything all weird. <laughs> Will that fix everything? There we go. Not a good start to this game. And it's not a good sign when I play uh, student games that feel more well-defined than <laughs> games in early access. Some slow combat. Ooh, ooh. Mm. All right, I think this will be easier with this. Okay, swing heavy. Yeah, so it's just good old Dark Souls controls. Hmm. That Giants game was supposed to come from, I think, people worked at a big company. Hmm. Uh oh, dun dun dun. Fight. Fight, I say. Parried. How much you want better they're gonna do the Dark Souls we're gonna die at the end of the tutorial? that timing the timing for the parry feels very weird to me Probably die here.
Yeah, I'm just thinking about that soon game that I played that it works so much better in terms of common than a lot of the other souls likes <laughs> and roguelikes. And when you can't get the feel of your character right, your entire game is kind of doomed from the start. Oh god, I gotta repeat the tutorial. Try this again. Hmm. Where everyone else got to tonight? So I haven't gotten more submissions for uh, indie games from the developers that have joined. Let's go fight this boss again. Will the parry work on his actions? Nice parry. This guy can't be a real boss, I'm able to stun lock him. Oh, sure. Ooh. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Now the real Dark Souls begins. At least I can fall off into the uh, void. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, good, the skeleton gave us a skeleton key. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this whole big area is not really needed. Oh, so ghost pick up a sword. Oh. So we can to the floor, somebody can overtake a bye. Hmm? 
Oh, there's your stun. Oh, apparently. Oh, there you go. Mm. Oh, good. And we have bones. Alright, so now what? Good. Oh, we can buy some bodies. Mm-hmm. What the hell? Ooh. They're gonna have to definitely fix that. If I'm using a gamepad, why do I need my mouse? Alright. Oh. Am I going somewhere? Should I take a stab at it? Oh good, let's jump in the glowy portal. Oof. Okay. Oh good, there's weapon durability on top. That's the experience. Then where's the guy I'm supposed to talk to? You know, when I do my video about open world design, I'm going to have to call a lot of indie developers who make very wide areas and then fill them with, like, nothing in them. Because, I mean, all this space is just not really needed. A lot of could just be condensed down to, like, one screen. that going on up there. Alright. What did I miss? There's nothing there. Nothing. Oh, wait. Maybe this will work. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm. A little bit. I think a few of the village ones could have been condensed down just a little bit. Okay. Down to scrolls. Why do I feel we're not going to find people for co-op? Harry. Right off the bat. They're forcing me into a uh, two on one. Oh. Good dodge. Ah. 
Oof. Oof. What is with these con this combat? And that right there is another red flag for this game. That you immediately start me fighting a two-on-one fight with Souls-like combat. It's kind of like starting a first-person shooter, handing a character a knife, and then putting them in a, a sniper hole. Also, what the hell are those four things up there? Why? Why am I fighting two enemies in the first room of our dungeon here? Guessing that hits me. Get in there. Well, I have a body now, at least. I love it when my swing misses and then he gets me for almost all my health. Oof. I'm really having uh, flashbacks to uh, Theranotic. And not in a good way. Ooh. I've seen enough of this one. I mean, so far, the only game that I've seen that has done like a really good job of improving its combat was when I played Lamontium last week. And just being able to make the dodge very responsive. I wonder what people are saying about this one. Came out a few days ago, it's two reviews. They recommend it, but they find the combat is clunky. Yeah, that one is just not going to work for me. Hmm. 
Well, thank you for playing their game from the Halloween. I don't know who the developer was. Was it the Designer's Curse or Lamontium? Hmm. Let's see. It's not about an hour. So far, the only two games I think have really worked were Unpacking and The Legend of Tian Ding. Let's see. Of course. Like recommending a game where the camera just spins around randomly. Let's see, do I have any other other games older on my list? Oh yeah, that's right. We have this one. This is the Animal XCOM game. Exactly. Oh. oh no, don't tell me I have that issue with games aren't loading again. Mm -mm. We may have to do a quick restart. Let's see. Hmm. It's coming up. Hmm. Mm -mm. See what happens here. Game Breaks Computer, would that be a recommendation too? Yeah, it got uh, messed up again. So I think what I'm going to need to do is do a quick restart. So we'll be so we're going to take a uh, impromptu five minute break, or probably more closer to two minutes. We'll be right back, and we'll get to our remaining games. So see you guys in a few minutes.